Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yesterday afternoon at about 12.51 Pacific Standard Time, there was a magnitude 3.2 earthquake that USGS later downgraded to a 3.0. It was in the Los Angeles area of Simi Valley. 948 people reported feeling this earthquake. There is a 20% chance of any moderate earthquake being a foreshock for something much larger. The Los Angeles area has an average of about five earthquakes per year of a magnitude between three and four. Uh, some of the felt reports on EMSC, which they have it listed as a magnitude 2.8. Here it says sitting on the side of the bed felt a jerk and that was it. A big jolt then shaking. Just a jolt. Another report. I was sitting on my bed and on my iPad. My two dogs were next to me sleeping. I felt a huge jolt hit the house. It scared me, my dogs. Uh, they lifted their heads, looked around, and fell back to sleep. I didn't move because I thought there was going to be a longer earthquake following that jolt. Nothing happened after. And I continued on my iPad. Another report says, felt like a quick jolt. I live off of Cooner Drive and definitely felt this one. A good rumble for at least five seconds. The whole house shook very quick. Felt a jolt like a sonic boom. All this one says here is Simi Valley, about 1245. Two strong jolts, this person said they felt. Another one says, it shook my house for a few seconds. Only felt a jolt, no continuous movement. A fast big jolt felt like a truck hit the house. Very fast. I thought it was a 3.2. Why lower it now? Well, they, you know, don't want people to know that earthquakes are increasing around the world. That report came from Simi Valley. Another one from Simi Valley. Big, short, big jolt. Uh, sitting in the drive through Carl's Jr., I felt some kind of pressure hit the car, and it moved a little bit, so it shook their car. Interesting. Another report from Simi Valley. Small tremor, followed by sharp jolt. Did not feel significant. I am located about three miles south southwest from indicated occurrence. Another report from Simi Valley. At Kaiser on Tapo and Alamo, felt a big jolt. The woman behind the counter said it was a quake. Then my wife called from home and said the whole shook sideways twice. I guess they meant the house shook sideways twice, and they were so excited they typed it wrong. Another report from Simi Valley. I was sitting on a concrete patio in Simi Valley, California. A subtle and gentle roller of short duration. Less than two seconds. Inside and upstairs, my son thought a big gust of wind had hit his window. It must have rattled. Now, in July of last year, there was a magnitude 4.2 near Veterans Park. Um, there's a 2.5 that I put here. That earthquake, too, was October of last year. I mean, they get a lot of little ones. But usually the larger ones is what I put on the uh, Google Maps. This earthquake was felt as far as Ridgecrest, one report. Bakersfield, one report. Santa Maria, one report. Let's go down here. Uh, Winchester, one report. Palmdale, one report. Uh, two responses from Stanton. We'll go a little bit closer here. Uh, Carmelo, Carmelo, sorry, tongue tied. Um, 14 from there. Uh, West Lake Village, 45. 107 from another location there in West Lake Village. Uh, another six. Uh, one from there. Three from there, Malibu three, Santa Monica fifteen, 
Los Angeles, it just says three. Another two. Torrance, one. Long Beach, um, William, Williamton is one. And we got a report all the way down here by the border for, uh, near San, San Diego. Bonita, two reports. Now, in 1971, there was a lot of damage from a very large earthquake there in the Los Angeles area. This is not far from Veterans Park, uh, which had to be demolished and torn down. There is a plaque there com commemorating that earthquake. That earthquake is also known as the San Fernando earthquake. I guess there was two earthquakes, uh, a magnitude 6.5 and a 6.1. That earthquake um, caused significant damage to um, interstates. Yeah, there was a lot of interstates collapsed. There was a lot of buildings that collapsed. Both the upper and lower than Norman Dam, which is also near this location, had severe damage. Many of the hospitals had severe damage. Because of the damage to the reservoir, 80,000 people had to be evacuated because there was a chance of a collapse. And they were evacuated for four days. There was 64 deaths from the 1971 earthquakes and 500 million dollars in damage. Can you imagine what that dollar value would be if um, a large earthquake like that happened now? Yeah. After that earthquake, the state of California enacted the Aquisto Prelo Act, uh, which limits construction on known fault zones that can cause uh, major earthquakes for the next 11,000 years. Limited, they didn't stop it, just limited the construction along known faults. It's been 50 years since that large earthquake. This weekend, hopefully, we give people a chance to renew their emergency plan, make sure that large objects are bolted to the walls. Do you have a pet carrier for your pets for evacuation? Do your family members know where you would meet in the case of a large earthquake? Do you know where your shutoff valves are for your water and gas? Do you have the tools to turn them off? Do you have a fire extinguisher in the case of small fires? Large ones definitely get out of the building and, um, yeah, call 911. But more than likely during a large earthquake, the uh, phone systems would be overloaded and down. They are now recommending that you have at least two weeks of food and water. And don't forget the can opener. Some people have helmets, be a motorcycle helmet, a hard hat, a bike helmet next to their bed. They now recommend that if there is a large earthquake to get under some furniture that is very sturdy. Uh, stay away from windows. Do not get in the doorways because the doors could slam and injure your hands possibly even lose a finger if you're in bed when an earthquake occurs get off the bed you don't want the ceiling crushing you between the bed and you know the debris that comes down get on the floor next to the bed and cover your neck and head a lot of people forget to bolt those flat screen tvs to the walls yeah they sell kits straps to bolt them to the wall and they're really cheap, about 10 bucks a piece. If you have a fireplace in your house, get away from the fireplace. Uh, you don't want the brick falling on top of your head either. If you have any other suggestions to be earthquake prepared, please put that information down below for others to read. So did you feel this earthquake and how did your pets react? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. Please be prepared. Use this weekend to review your plans, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.